All right, so today we are going to be adding and subtracting radical expressions. So we're going to be adding and subtracting radicals. Radicals are this symbol, okay? So if you want to add or subtract these symbols, you need to combine like terms. And when I say like terms, that means the expression must, ex uh, must contain the same radicand and the same root. So for example... These are like terms because they have the same radicand. The radicand is what is underneath the symbol. So inside of the square root symbol, we have the same thing, okay? That's what it means by having the same radicand. They both have an X, okay? And then it also says it needs to have the same root. Do you guys remember what number is the root? Yep, outside right here. This is the root, so this is a root three since they have a matching root and a matching radicand, we can combine these. So my answer would be two plus four is six, so it would be six, the root is three, and on the inside is an X. That would be your answer. This is a three. Okay, so let's look at some more examples. All right, so are these like term guys? Is the radicand the same? Yeah. Yep, do they have the same root? It's blank. So what number can we envision there? Two. A two. Okay, so they both have root two. So these are like terms. I'm gonna write like terms. All right. Okay, so these are like terms. And if I added these together, what's square root of two and four square root of two? Okay, what is a heart and four hearts? How many hearts do you have total? Five hearts. So what is square root of two and four square root of two? Five what? Square root of two. So this should be your answer. If it helps you, you can put a one in the front. So one plus four is five. So it'll be five square root of two. All right, let's look at B. Do they have the same radicand? Yes, do they have the same root? No, so these are not like terms. I'm gonna call them their unlike terms. Okay, and then let's do letter C. And they gave us a hint. We're gonna simplify it first. So we have to incorporate what we've learned previously. So let's simplify this first. Can y'all give me two numbers that multiply to give me 45? Good, nine times five is 45. And to get nine, three times three will give you nine. So if I were to rewrite this, I'll have three times three times five. What kind of groups am I looking for? Yep, groups of two. Whenever it's blank, whenever it's blank, you look for groups of two, okay? So here's a group of two, cross it out, put it outside. So your answer is three square root of five. So now that we simplified this, is this and this like terms? Okay, let me walk you through how to figure that out. Do they have the same root? Yep. Do they have the same radicand? No, this one's a three and this one's a five. So these are not like terms. So these are not like terms. Okay, so we can't combine those. Those just stay separate. Okay, so that was example one. Let's move on to the next set of questions. Example two type questions. All right, let's look at this. What would A be? Good. Three plus two is five, square root of seven. Okay, these have the same root and the same radicand. We can combine these. So it's seven minus four. So this will be three square root of three. Okay, all of these have root two. All of these have 10 on the inside. So we're good, we can combine these. 
So what is five minus three, two, and then plus two? So this will be four square root of 10. All right, let's go on to the next set of problems. Okay, now y'all can do letter D. I think y'all's letter D is different from mine, but you can still do it. Let's look at E, do these have the same root? How do you know, what are we looking at guys? Yep, so this one's a two since it's blank and this one's a three. You can't combine them, just keep it like it is. You can do F and let's do G. Okay, so which ones have the same terms? Which one has the same radicand? Yep, this one matches and this one matches. So we can combine the first one and this last one because those have the same radicand. They both have three Y. So what is four minus nine? Yep, so this will be negative five square root three Y. And then this plus seven square root of three will be by itself. That will be your answer, okay? You can only um, combine like terms. This one did not have a Y in it, so we had to keep it separate, okay? All right, last set, example three type problems. Okay, so again, we have to simplify this to see if we can combine anything. So let's break down 125. Can y'all give me two numbers that'll give me 125? 25. Yep, 25 times five is 125. And 25 can be broken down in five and five. Okay, so this will be written as square root of five times five times five. Here's a pair, cross it out. So this is now five square root of five plus three square root of five. And we can combine these. Your answer is eight square root five. All right, let's try B. Two numbers that multiply to 75. Okay, that works. 15 times five, and this is, yep, three times five. So we got, let me rewrite this. This is now three times five times five. Here's a pair. Cross it out, it goes outside. Now let's do 27. Three times nine is 27, and three times three will give me the nine. So this can be rewritten as three times three times three. Here's a pair, right? So that's what that one will look like. And the last one, six times eight is 48. Break down the six into two times three. Break down the eight, two times four is eight. Break down the twos, break down the four into two twos. All right, so if we put this under the square root symbol, we have four twos and a three. Here's a pair, cross it out, it goes outside. Here's a pair, cross it out, it goes outside. So let me write down what we have. This first one, we have five square root of three minus this one, that's three square root of three. Plus this last one, I have four on the outside, three on the inside. Now that it's all simplified, we can combine like terms. So guys, what is five minus three? Five minus three is two plus four. So this is six square roots of three.
All right, we're gonna try letter C now. All we need to do is break down this 24. Okay, so 24 can be six times four can give you 24. Break down this to two and three. Break down the four into two and two. Okay, so let's see what we have. I have a five on the outside that you do not want to forget. Okay, so there's a five on the outside. Let's write what's on the inside. I have one, two, three twos. And a three. How many Y's do I have? Three Y's. So I'm going to put Y, Y, Y. And what kind of groups am I looking for? I want two, so I want pairs. So here's a pair, cross it out. I'll put one outside. Here's a pair of Y's, cross it out, put it outside. So let's evaluate what we have. Two times five is 10. And then I have a Y on the outside. On the inside, I have two times three, that's six, and I have an extra Y. So guys, we have successfully simplified this first part of the problem. It looks like this. Now, bring down the next part, just bring this part down. So I'm gonna bring that down, it's minus Y square root six Y. Now, let's think real quick. Do they have the same root? Yep, they're both blank. Do they have the same thing on the inside? Yes, so let's combine these. So if you're confused, because there's not a number here, just slide a one in there. What's 10 minus one? Nine, and then bring the rest down. So this is your answer. Okay, so I'm gonna end here. I want you guys to practice the next three problems at the bottom of your page. So this one, first we need to simplify this. So two numbers that give me 81 is nine times nine is 81. Three times three is nine, three times three is nine. So all of these will go underneath the symbol, underneath the radical. And I have an X here as well, so I'm gonna bring that down. I'm looking for groups of three. I need three of a kind. So here's a group of three. I'm gonna cross that out and put it outside. So my final answer is three root three with the three X on the inside. That's my first term. My second term, I don't have to do anything to this one. It's already as simple as it will get. So I'm gonna bring this down. Okay, now let's do the last one. I need two numbers that give me 24. I'll do six times four is 24. I'll change this to a two times three. This will be two times two. So I'm gonna put these under the radical. I have two, 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 I have three twos and a three. I also have a single X, so I'm gonna bring that X down. Now I'm looking for groups of three. So here's a group of three, cross it out, put it outside. So what I have is plus two, root three of three X. So these are all simplified. Now notice guys, all of the roots are the same. They're all root three. All the insides are the same. So I can combine all of these. I saw a lot of people make this mistake. Everyone look, y'all need to imagine a one right here. What's three minus one? Two, 
And what is two plus two? Four. So your answer should be four. And then this part will stay the same. So that is your answer. This is a three, if you can't tell. That's a three. This is a three. Okay. All right, the next one. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this. I want two numbers that give me eight. That can be two times four will give me eight. And then let's break down four into two times two. So what this is now becoming is I have three twos on the inside. I have a three on the outside. How many X's should I write? Three, thank you. Three X's. Okay, and what kind of groups do I want? It's blank. There's nothing right here. So how many groups? Groups of two, yes. So here's a group of two. Cross it out. I'm going to put it outside. Here's a group of two. Cross it out. I put it outside. So on the outside, I have two times three, which is six. I have an X. On the inside, I have a two and an X. Okay, now guys, let's bring this down. Let's bring this down here. So I have X square root of two X. These are being added together. So guys, look, let me highlight this for you. My root is the same and my Radicand is the same. They have the same thing on the inside. So that means I can combine the outside. This is where I saw a lot of people make a mistake. Put a one in the front. What is one plus six? Seven. So this will be seven X root two X. That's your answer to E. All right, let's do the next one. Last problem is this one. We're gonna simplify everything. Again, guys, if you have this, you can move on to the next page. Five times 10 will give me 50. Five times two will give me 10. So this will be five times five times two. So this is five square root of two. Next, I'm gonna do the 32. Four times eight is 32. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. This is two and two. So that means I'll have five twos under here. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a pair. Here's a pair. So this is minus four square root of two. Finally, let's do the 98. Let's see, what'd y'all put for this? Forty nine, sorry. Two times forty nine, and then this can be seven times seven. So we'll have two times seven times seven cross out the pair, put it outside. So we're adding seven square roots of two. Okay, so they all have the same, they all have the same root, and also they all have a two on the inside. So five minus four is one. Five minus four is one, plus seven is eight. So your answer should be eight square root of two. All right, guys, so that is the end of our notes. You guys are doing the practice. If you don't finish the practice in class, it is homework.